Microplastics are everywhere, including in our bodies. A recent study found that the amount of plastic in our brains is about the same as a plastic spoon, or if you want to think about it a little differently, about the same as seven of these pen caps. Measuring how much plastic is in the body is tricky, so there's a lot of uncertainty in that estimate. But the fact of the matter is, scientists have seen these really small, concerning particles in the body. The question is, how harmful are they really? To find out more about how scientists are trying to answer these questions, I went out to one of the labs that's at the leading edge of this research at the University of New Mexico. What we know is plastics are all around us. They're in our furniture, our food supply, our clothes, cosmetics, and they don't really biodegrade. They just get smaller and smaller in the environment. And so microplastics are what result from that. These particles are really, really tiny, less than five millimeters in size. And because they're so small, they can get everywhere into our soil, air, into the food chain, and into our bodies. The scientists I spoke to think that the primary way that these microplastics are getting into our bodies is through ingestion. One thing that was really notable from the lab's research was that the concentration of microplastics in our brains is increasing over time. They showed that from 2016 to 2024, the concentration of microplastics in human brains increased by almost 50%. That increase coincides with the increase of plastic in our world over time. According to some estimates, plastic production doubles every 10 to 15 years. One particularly concerning finding was that the brains of people with dementia had even more microplastics in them. And that could be just because the brains of people with dementia are less able to clear out toxins and they have a more porous blood-brain barrier. But scientists are trying to figure out causation. Researchers are also investigating the link between microplastics and other health issues like fertility issues, multiple sclerosis, and heart disease. It'll be years before scientists really know what are the health effects of microplastics. In the meantime, there are several things that scientists say can't hurt. One is not drinking from plastic water bottles, especially when they've been out in the sun. Another is not heating food in plastic. And a third is eating lower on the food chain, so you're not eating fish and animals that have taken in a lot of microplastics. A lot about plastic production is not in our control. Ultimately, to reduce the overall plastic in the world, that has to be done at the policy level. But doing this reporting has really made me aware that if we don't stop our plastic use and waste, it's likely that they will keep on accumulating in our bodies.